We recently purchased a car charger for our electric car and we got a Juicebox Pro 40, which is awesome because it has Wi-Fi built in and we got ours hardwired into our house. Uh, it can provide a lot of power, more power than our car actually will be able to take. And one of the things I really like about it is you can actually change the amount of power that is able to come out of the wire. As you can see, there's a nice thick wire and it goes on with your standard connector right into our Nissan Leaf, which is awesome. Uh, it provides more than enough juice for what we need to do and you can see it works perfectly with the Leaf. Those are little charging lights there if you're not used to it. Uh, as I said, the cable is super thick. Uh, we were previously using the default charger that came with the car, which is a 120 volt one, and it took a long time to charge the car. We can now charge it from zero to full in under four hours. Um, we have it a little jerry-rigged to the side of the house, and uh, one of the things I really like about this is that it has an antenna on it because you can work with Wi-Fi with this. Um, so I'll show you the app here in a second. Uh, so you go into the eMotorWorks app, which is great. Uh, it will connect to your local network. I can see how much I'm charging the car or what's been currently charged, what percentage I added, and I can also see how many miles I've actually added when I charged it. Going over to the control tab, I can actually see where my car is at as far as the charged battery. I can set the upper and lower limits of that as well. In the details area, I can see what the current amperage going into my car is, the temperature of the battery, the frequency, all that kind of stuff. I can also see what I've used lifetime, how much money I've estimated to save, um, and what it's been charging for overall. Over on the recents, I can see the total charge. I can get a graph of what has actually happened. So you can see I was charging at uh, six and a half kilowatts and then it went down and dropped down because I stopped charging. Inside the settings, I can set my vehicle information. I can do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. I can also set time of day restrictions so I can charge it at a certain period of the day uh, so that I know when it is and when it's off, especially if I'm away and I don't want somebody using it, I can just shut the whole thing down so that nobody can use it remotely. In a couple more settings, you can actually set the maximum amperage rating for your charger and that's a great tool. Um, looking at this charger, it has more bang for your buck and more features than any other charger on the market. And it has Wi-Fi, it has available controls, and has a long enough cord to do pretty much anything you need to do. Um, and that's why we got it.